I, Simon Yabakama Mugeni, having been appointed chairperson of the Electoral Commission, swear in the name of your mighty God that I will and truly exercise the functions of chairperson of the Electoral Commission in accordance with the Constitution and the laws of the Republic of Uganda without fear or favor, affection or ill will, so help me God. I, Asha Vega, having been appointed Deputy Chairperson of the Electoral Commission, solemnly affirm that I will well and truly exercise the functions of Deputy Chairperson of the Electoral Commission. I, Stephen Pashovia, having been appointed member of the Electoral Commission, swear in the name of the Almighty God. Our greatest gratitude goes to the appointing authority and the parliament, who in the exercise of their respective mandates have found us suitable and befitting to serve in this vital institution. To the people of Uganda, I wish to assure you of an, our, our unwavering commitment and resolve to execute our constitutional mandate in a transparent and impartial manner for the promotion of democracy in our country through the conduct of free and fair elections that we undertake and we shall do. I invite you, if you have any reservations in whatever area, come and we discuss. And if matters are within our domain or mandate, we shall address them. I expect you to be non-partisan. In other words, your decisions and actions should not be for the benefit of any particular party. Now, legitimacy is an outcome of three things, independence, competence, and professionalism. So if we are to put it mathematically, we would say independence plus competence plus professionalism equals legitimacy. It's really about the political culture where everybody wants to win and yet there can only be one winner. There's only one seat for the president of Uganda. There's only one seat per constituency. To the extent that some people even swear in themselves as presidents, because they feel that Justice Biabakama has not favored them. Not knowing that Justice Biabakama only announces what the people say. So. As we carry on with building democracy, we should know that however fast your vehicle is, its real speed is determined by the road condition. We are not on a very good road democratically in Uganda. Our vehicles may be strong, powerful engines, the best, but if the road is bad, even the best vehicle will not take you far. What do I mean by saying the road is bad? The road, in my view, is that many people do not believe that they will be served by those they have not favored. And yet, in reality, we need to change the culture. In congratulating you and your team, first, for the trust that the appointing authority has placed in each of you. And then second, for Parliament finding each one of you worthy of the responsibility bestowed upon you by the appointing authority. It is it's merely a witness that you've taken oath. The oath you took, each one of you, is a solemn undertaking before God that you've accepted the responsibility that has been placed in your hands, the burden 
that you carry on your shoulders, each one of you and all of you collectively. It is no small task. You occupy a pivotal place in the scheme of things in our country. You are someone and all of you are some persons of fundamental importance ensuring the democratic dispensation in this country takes place. It falls on each one of you and all of you collectively to ensure that we live in a peaceful country in harmony with ourselves. The electoral commission must be given funds beginning today to carry out civic education in this country. So that you begin today in preparation for 2026 and every Ugandan should participate. I think it, it, make, it will make a difference. It will make a difference. That would have been part of my, my advice to the Electoral Commission. Whatever the outcome would have been it was clear in my mind, but I was denied the opportunity, my Lord Chair. So, my Lord, the Chief Justice, uh, the Honorable Chair, is being assisted by his secretary to Rob. as the others are also being